Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This video here we're going to review some uh, older Hot Wheels. They're not real old. We got stuff from late 90s to the mid uh, 2000s but it's mostly just going to be um, custom vans and custom trucks. Alright we're going to start off with the trucks. Um, we got a few Chevys, a bunch of various other brands um, but we'll start off with uh, my, my favorite uh, trucks anyway and we'll just work our way through. Um, this one here, these are what, uh, these are 2013, so not really that old. I went through some of my collection and, um, cleaned out some vehicles that are just going to basically go in storage. So we got the, uh, custom 62 Chevy. Um, this one here is done in a, kind of a, uh, teal, maybe a little slightly darker than a teal, but, uh, very, very cool. It's got the plastic surfboard in the back white roof and of course it's got that pretty cool slammed look to it it's got the I don't know what it says in there oh Hot Wheels Customs pretty cool we got a custom 72 Chevy Love this one here is the Hot Trucks probably the same era 20, actually this was 2015 but uh, very very cool got the slam look to it they just released this one um, most recently in uh, the is it green or uh, yeah green kind of the uh, lime green sort of truck very cool chrome interior we got another hot trucks same thing just in a recolor but again slam chrome interior Nothing, nothing fancy. These are just a basic line release. Um, like I said, I just like I collect a lot of trucks and vans and stuff like that. So it was uh, clearing them out. I thought I'd just share with you guys. And of course, we have the ever popular. This is my favorite casting of all time, probably when it comes to trucks. '83 Chevy Silverado. Can't go wrong with the square body. Very, very nice. Done in this yellow. Got kind of the um, sort of wood grain look for the tampa work. Nice chrome grill and bumper. It's black interior. The cut out there. Very, very nice. Don't find too many of these. A lot of the, um, any of these trucks that are available, people scoop these up uh, pretty quick. This one is 2013, but uh, pretty sweet uh, Slam Chevy there. I love the uh, this the square body style. Um, you don't see that too much anymore. They don't uh, release a lot of that stuff. All right, up next we got some interesting um, kind of trucks with stereos in them. So this one here is 1995, a little bit older. It's the uh, Swift or sorry, Swing Fire 404. Anything you want on the back here. But uh, it's kind of neat. It's got uh, some interesting uh, tampa work. With the Hot Wheels logo on the back. For the interior. That's why I picked these up. It's got the custom stereo in the back. You see the subs, the amps. Two more subs at the back. Um, this is right up my alley of what I like to collect. You don't see too much of this stuff anymore. Um, they don't really... They make a couple castings. Uh, they got like the boom box, I believe it's called, something like that. But nothing with this uh, this kind of detailing, which is pretty cool. I wish it was in a um, like a, a a better truck than this, but um, still pretty cool. We got this one here. This is the Sonic Special. It's got uh, pretty neat. Uh, it's got gold rims on it. Um, basically the uh, same, very similar truck anyway. But, uh, this one, interesting, it actually says, if you, know if you guys can see it there, it actually says truck right there in that. Uh, well, pretty cool. But again, got the stereo. These are basically all the same. We're just going to run down real quick. Um, and then we got this one here and another funky tamp work with different rims. Um, these rims actually are the same. Almost the same as, uh, or actually they are the same as this guy here, the first one. But this is going to be the newest, this one's from 2000. So, pretty neat. 
So if you like custom trucks and custom stereos, this is a pretty neat casting. If you can find it, they're pretty popular. They made lots of these. It's not like uh, any of these vehicles are rare or hard to get or anything like that. Um, I just was switching up my displays, so decided I would store these for now. All right, we're gonna move. Just keep moving along on these. We're gonna run down them, like I say, pretty quick. We got uh, quite a few cars to go over. So um, this one here is part of the blings lineup um so they make a lot of these kind of tuned version of cars this one's a dairy delivery uh, number one of five tag rides but it's got some pretty cool graphic work it's just something different something fun i like the dairy delivery that's why i collect this um, particular one pretty neat one here is from 2006. Some of these packages is not in great shape, but we got the tuned Chevy S10. Pretty sweet. Big chrome exhaust pipes there. I love the slam look though. This looks pretty cool. I'm not a huge fan of the tuned stuff. I don't collect a ton of it, but these are pretty cool just because they're trucks, and that's one of my favorite vehicles to collect. Um, we got a, another one of those. Um, I often get duplicates. I started a spreadsheet online, so uh, I can actually keep track of a lot of the vehicles now, so I don't get as many duplicates. This one here is 2004 first edition. The Blings Chevy Avalanche. Pretty cool. It's kind of neat with the big rims. The avalanche across the hood, the side. Some cool paintwork. Pretty neat. These are 2003. And we got this is one of the um, the boom box I mentioned previously. It actually it's hard to see, but they're they do have a bit of a stereo in the back here, but. Pretty cool SUV here, just uh, slammed to the ground, kind of souped up. It's got a really cool paint to it there. You can see the Hot Wheels logos in the rear window and the molded plastic, which is neat. That's pretty cool. It's kind of like a purpley fuchsia type. It's pretty cool. Now we got another one of these. This is the Chevy S10 again, but this one here is in blue. Um, basically the same paintwork has the flames across the, the side just done in blue. Pretty neat. That's the same as this guy here. Just in, uh, just in a different color. But, uh, pretty cool. Alright, up next we have a few, um, 65 Ford Ranchero. Um, and a couple, uh, what's it, uh, another Ranchero and El Camino. Um, I guess these are in the truck family, so pretty cool though. Nice artwork um, on the vehicles, like Tampa work is just really nice with the flames. Some vehicles, um, they go a little overboard with the flames, they don't look as good, but pretty nice uh, casting here. Chrome interior. The uh, plastic base on that one. This is the HW Workshop as well as the previous one. This is basically just a recolor. This one has the red rims, whereas this one has chrome. Pretty neat. But same flame work, just, uh, just in different colors. Pretty nice. It's packed in 2012, roughly. It's ripped off. 2013. But... Uh, we got the 71 El Camino HW City. So, pretty cool. Got in a purple and pink. Pretty stunning. Chrome grill, you got the pink stripe up the hood. Gray interior. And it says Ed Pink's Garage on the door. Very cool. Got some white wall tires there. Looking pretty cool. Pretty neat if you like those. All right, we're gonna move on. We got uh, this one here is the 40s Woody. Very, very cool. Anyway, a teal uh, body, yellow interior, yellow greenish interior, black paint with pretty cool 
tempo work there as well as the rear fender. Got some interesting wheels on this one. Metal bo uh, metal base and the metal body. This part, the main body is plastic, but these fenders and the base and all that, this is all metal. Pretty cool. This is a little bit of an older one, 95. You can tell just by the packaging, but pretty cool. Can't go wrong with the Woody Wagon. Got the ever popular custom Ford Bronco. Always pick these up. Love the uh, Ford Bronco. Here Ford is actually bringing this back in like 2020 or something. They're going to build this. That would be pretty sweet to see. But pretty cool. Got the cool tampa work with the yellow flames. Big spare tire on the back. Jacked up. Pretty cool. And we got the uh, Super Smooth. Just a custom truck. Slam to the ground. This one looks pretty nice because it's just nice and simple. Not a lot of graphic work. The only graphic work is actually on the back tailgate there. Or tonneau cover. Pretty cool. But that just looks nice. Nice and clean. Slam chrome rims. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. That's the type I like. Just something simple. We got another one. This one here is a 52 Chevy. Again, very, very nice. It has some um, tempo work, but it's very subtle and it looks pretty clean. Clean lines on this one as well. Black grill. It's black interior. Very cool. Clear glass on this one. Pretty nice little casting. Pretty popular truck still. And we got the HW Showroom. This is the Nissan Titan. Very cool to see this um, in a, a slammed version. You see these trucks on the road, they're normally jacked, like they're they're way in the air. Big off-road vehicles, but that's very cool. Chrome grill. Very nice. Tempo work on this one's actually pretty nice. Suits this truck quite well. You see there it's got the chrome interior, but they did that for the, the back as well. And you see this one, it's hard to see on camera, but it's got some subwoofers along the back there. And then everything else is chrome inside. Very, very cool. You don't see too many trucks like this anymore, at least from Hot Wheels. So I pick up as many of these as I can. We got the steel frame. So, very cool custom truck. As you can see, it's got a lot of flames. Red windows. I not a big fan of the, the colored windows like that, but they got the Hot Wheels in the flames, which is cool. A dusty. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. They got the Hot Wheels in the... Oh, no, that's not Hot Wheels. It's, uh... Can't make out what that is, but... Some sort of graphic there. But, pretty cool. Got a nice stance to it. It's got to be... I don't know what type of vehicle. It's obviously not the licensed model. 2004... Um, but it's going to be like a, probably like a replica of a Nissan or something. You can see they kind of got some similar looks to them, but more of a, more of a custom. Alright, we got a uh, few Matchbox trucks. And we got a Maisto. So this one here um, is going to be, I don't know if it actually says a make. It's a, like a Chevy Suburban. Um, yeah, I don't think it actually tells you what this is. Must not be a... Oh yeah, it is a licensed model. It's got the Chevy logos on it. Um, yeah, nowhere on here does it say. Can't see it offhand anyway. But it is a uh, Chevy uh, Suburban. Yeah, it actually says it right there on the back. Chevy Suburban. Pretty cool though. Um, these are just uh, a very inexpensive lineup. I have showed these on the channel previously this is their old packaging they've changed them now to like a white and blue uh, no interior but you can see that it has that uh, that lowered stance to it which I like that's why I picked these up um, I haven't been able to find these for quite some time now but you can see it's got a pretty nice stance for a stock looking truck done in kind of a, a brownish gold color no real tampo work but not a bad little casting. It's just a metal body 
plastic base but uh, I think these are these are only like a, a dollar or less you can typically get them for about 50 cents a car or something like that if you can get them on sale we got the Matchbox Hero City Collection Flame Chopper because up I like fire trucks and um, some stuff like that and I'd never seen this I thought it was pretty neat with the axe on here the axe if you can see the size it's actually bigger than the whole entire vehicle it's pretty cool but it's a really nice like almost like a kind of like a specter flame sort of paint on there blue windows gold rims very cool very heavy casting as well but I thought the axe was was super cool and you can see the air that the axe does move up and down which is neat which is sold for apparently two dollars and 77 cents doesn't say the store but uh, this was 1995 or no sorry 2003 I think the other one was but you can see uh, a couple of the other ones in the set there pretty cool huh. thought it was a pretty neat casting I don't pick up a ton of fantasy stuff and we're moving on to the 66 Dodge A100 I really like this cast and I pick these up anytime I can this is the mother's um, polished wax and cleaners very cool love the uh, stock look here very nice red interior pretty neat truck don't see many of those anymore in the uh, the matchbox lineup either and we got the Jeep Willy 4x4 absolutely love this casting very nice Big jacked up truck black interior all yellow just nice and simple it's nice to have just a stock version of some of these vehicles this one here I found I don't know why exactly I picked this up it's not my era of truck that I like but 97 Chevy Tahoe so Kind of neat. It says uh, 454 apparently in there. That would be pretty fun. And then uh, tan interior, clear windows, kind of red with this. They kind of made had those graph or tampa work back in the day. Pretty cool. Um, I probably got this vehicle in like when I purchased a lot or something like that. Sometimes I get a bunch of vehicles that I don't really want, but they are in the lot, so I've got no choice. But uh, a few neat vehicles there to look at. All right, let's move on to some vans. Switch it up from the trucks a little bit here. We got a few more trucks to go, but we'll put this in the middle here. So we got the cool combi. Previewed these many times on the channel. Quite like these uh, Volkswagen vans. Pretty cool. This one's a surf shop with kind of the wood paneling. Very, very cool. Some of these are tough to find. Um, these like these earlier release ones now you can get uh, cool combis like nobody really seems to want them but I quite like the Volkswagens I will keep collecting these very cool we got a 1998 first edition of the dairy delivery which is very cool so we saw a tuned version of the um, dairy delivery this is the original version they got milk very cool has a teal interior matches the tempo work very cool this one here is released 1997 I guess 1998 first edition probably could have got that yourself a couple vans here We've got the 2008 uh, new models this is the um, Chevy custom 77 Dodge van pretty cool it's got the Hot Wheels logo there Super Flame is not a treasure hunt. They just did that. It's got the orange windows, full interior. They make this van quite a bit. They released it recently in uh, the um, the chrome version, which is pretty cool. Super chromes. Picked up a bunch of these. I think I picked these up for like a dollar a piece, which is pretty good. So I picked all of them, all of them up that he had. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with them all, but pretty cool vans. And then uh, these ones here are pretty neat. Um, so this one here is the purple and pink flames. Again, all very similar tampa work. It's got the Hot Wheels logo there. This one has black tinted windows though. 
Um, same interior and everything, just just uh, black. I like the look of that a lot better than like orange. More of a stock look, but you see it's kind of like lowered. They're the custom man, this looks pretty cool. But uh, like a fuchsia type purpley pink. And we have it in kind of this brown and uh, I don't know, goldish flames. It does have a gold base, which gives it the gold accenter on the bottom. It's kind of neat and matches the rims. And you can see all of these have different types of rims. So this one here is the same, but black with a red line. This one here is a totally different rim there. But uh, basically all the exact same. Um, this one looks nice with the tinted window. That's why I left these two to the end. They just look so much better with, uh, you know, either clear or tinted windows, if you ask me. Um, the orange windows, I don't know, kind of almost wrecks the model a bit, if you, if you ask me. But very cool. All right, we got a few more trucks to run down. We got the... Um, Pretty cool LA Torcha. Pretty neat. I quite like this one. It's got a really slam stance to it. This one here does have a couple of defects though in the, the paint. I don't know if you can see them there. It's not the best casting in that regard, but very neat. It's got some tamp work along the little front visor. Gold rims, gold base, bumpers, Hot Wheel logo on the back. Again, black tinted windows. Looks pretty good. We got a switchback. So, some sort of fantasy model. I'm not sure what that's from. Um, if it says license, no, it's got to be a fantasy. But, pretty neat. Black on the red. Very cool. You can see right there. I think that's supposed to be the Hot Wheels logo, but there's nothing in it pretty neat and we got the uh, 56 flash side very cool it's a pretty popular truck as well this one has a ton of tampa work on it it's the radical wrestlers so you can see it's got the whatever wrestler that is on the back of the uh, trunk there pretty cool tempo on the hood there and as well as the door. It's pretty cool. Nothing on the actual tailgate, but pretty cool. Not in a huge fan of the wrestling thing, so I don't know all these guys. Someone might know who that is. And we got more of a, I guess, stock version. Circus on Wheels. Pretty cool. So, this Hot Wheels Circus on wheels pretty neat so pretty neat pretty cool little truck there again got the gold base very similar to the other one same type of paint pretty cool then we got a custom 69 Chevy this one here I tried to find this one for my daughter for the longest time couldn't find these anywhere now I think I got like 10 of them but uh, this one's got all the yellow faded package. It's actually broken. Probably should just open it, but they're going to be stored. So, pretty cool. Hard to find them in like purples and pinks and stuff like that, but pretty neat. This one has a white interior actually. So, but uh, it's beat up packaging. This one was going to go to my daughter actually, but like I say, I found a, a whole bunch of them now. So, she's. Uh, She's got a couple of her own now, her own collection. All right, we got a couple more of their uh, tuned version. This is the 2004 first edition, the Chevy S10. So pretty cool in this green money sign tempos. Pretty cool. Look at all the money signs. Pretty cool, got big bling rims on it. Pretty neat. Metal body plastic base. And then we got the adjuster. No idea why I have this one. 
probably again was in maybe a lot I don't know I don't even know if it's a truck or actually what that is no idea it's uh, interesting not something I collect so I'm not really sure why it was there but it was so 2005 first edition blings so this is the Hummer H3 now that looks pretty cool simple paintwork Big rims slammed to the ground. Pretty neat. You got the same rim on the for the spare, which is pretty cool. Blacked out windows. It does have an interior. It's really hard to see through them though, but that looks pretty cool. And we got 2003 first edition Ford F-150. So it's pretty cool with the Hot Wheels and the paintwork. F-150 across the side with this big blown motor just looks super cool pretty neat a lot of a lot of these were uh first editions i noticed uh i i, I know i bought a, a quite a large lot of older trucks and all that stuff so um it's more like where these came i've had these for quite some time now so all right a few more to look at here we're getting to the end here uh, i don't want to keep make this video too too long but we got the volkswagen caddy which is Pretty neat. Uh, you see this quite a bit now in castings, like in new release stuff. This one's not that old. This is like 2013, so it's pretty cool to see. I quite like it. It's got the blue tinted windows, though. Wish they would get away from that, but love the Volkswagen stuff. That's pretty cool. We got a steel frame here. So same as you saw before, just in a different tampa work, lots of flames, but slammed to the ground, which looks pretty cool. Then we got the HW Garage Chevy Silverado. Pretty cool. Got a very nice stance to it. Slammed to the ground, black rims, got the Hot Wheels Garage logo on the door. Chrome interior, you got the racing stripe there. But it also has this pretty cool motorcycle in the back. Got a, quite a few of these in various colors and whatnot. Pretty cool. It's just a basic release again. Metal body, plastic base. The bike itself is plastic, but it looks pretty sweet in there. Pretty nice. Alright, we got Chevy S10. Kind of a drag truck. Done in a yellow, which or uh, kind of like a lime, I don't know what it is, lime green, bright yellowy. It's interesting, it's got a cat on the back, tampa work. Pretty cool. Like I say, I prefer an S10 in the square body style, not the not the round, would be my preferred. And then we got the uh, super tuned, again, drag truck. Very, very cool. Lots of tampa work, so pretty nice. It's the was it what the name is there? What it's supposed to say there? Not too sure on that one, but uh, pretty neat. I don't know if this piece on the back flips up. It might. Nice truck there, and then we got two vehicles here. Um, it's pretty much the last trucks. So I only got a couple other ones to go over, but this one here is just a. Um, I never owned any of the uh, dragsters, so I thought, what the heck, I'd get one. This one was cool because it has Hot Wheels on the side. Pretty neat. It's pretty fun to watch these things go down the track. But I just realized I didn't own one, so I picked one up. And then this here is pretty cool. Eight crate. Pretty cool, like a Chevy wagon or something. Pretty neat. Again, purple windows. All chromed out inside. Pretty neat. The motor's back there. It's pretty cool, but the paint on it is pretty cool. It's got a pretty cool stance. Quite like that. So it's not a, well, it's not a truck, but it's kind of a wagon. So it's kind of in that same category, really. I think. Pretty neat. All right, the last of the trucks I have, we're gonna start off with is the '83 Studebaker. So this is the Hot Wheels Boulevard series. Real Riders, metal on metal. Very cool artwork on the card. 
Um, unfortunately, my card is a little bent here, but that's how only one I could find, so I take them what I could get. But the casting is absolutely stunning. Look at the Studebaker there, done in this kind of a uh, black on gray with a blue rims match the roof there 63 it's got the oh it says on the hood there exactly can't see it not sure but it's got some tamp work on the hood and it is all metal with rubber tires which is very cool i can't remember what this set what this came with it was in a um i think like a box set or something like that and uh i made uh I think I made my daughter let me keep this one because of course she likes to open everything she just crack this thing open and put on our wall but this baby's got to see in the package so pretty nice and we got the Hot Wheels um, trucks so unfortunately I think all of these backs uh, this one's not too bad there's quite a few vehicles there's uh, three six seven eight uh, in this set there I was only able to find these three, but I got the Chevy Silverado. So you just saw that one. It's the one that had the um, bike in the back. So that's uh, the version without the bike in the back. I can't find where I put it right the second. It's over there somewhere. But pretty cool. Slammed again. Got the speakers in the back. Pretty neat. And you got... Custom 69 Chevy pickup, yellow sidestep, okay, pretty cool, neat tampa work, artwork on the cards on these is pretty nice as well, um, I wasn't able to beat the set but um, there is a gentleman online that uh, hopefully I can get this complete set from, would be pretty sweet, and then uh, this one here is the Nissan Titan again, so Exactly what you saw previously, just in different color, but looks pretty sweet all in the chrome. They've done them. Any of these trucks I've seen, they keep them kind of the same. Like this has a chrome base with chrome interior, chrome back. They're all they're all the same, but uh, looks pretty cool. If you like the slam trucks and whatnot, but uh, don't know if I'll ever get the full set of those. I'm sure I can online, but. I know I always say I don't like to buy things online, but I might have to because I really want this set. Um, so, never know. We'll see what happens. But here's a gentleman, like I said, I'm trying to buy a set from. So if I can get it for the right price, we'll definitely do it. All right, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hadn't posted a, um, a real, uh, just a Hot Wheels Basics. So I thought I'd do this one just on the vans and trucks that I have that I cleaned out of my case. Um, I got a ton more content. I did a, uh, was on a little bit of a vacation in the States, so I picked up a few items that you cannot pick up locally in your stores here. A bunch of, uh, you know, I got a couple Johnny Lightnings and uh, some Auto World stuff like that, so we'll uh, review that. And we got uh, some of the new uh, car culture stuff, so that should be good. And we have the full set, uh, we got the character cars as well if you're into those. Um, so a ton more content coming. Uh, just been uh, busy trying to get these videos out, but I uh, should have time this weekend to get some videos out to you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.